Hello, fellow summoners, and welcome to another Hall of Heroes. It is I, Okeanos, who will be escorting you in your journey through the levels 1 through 10. We will speed up some of the levels so that you do not get bored. This is level 1. You probably will not be bringing me to this Hall of Heroes because I am fire and it is water and they would murder me. As per usual, we are going to use speed teams until they die. And then we will switch to a, a slower uh, clearing team. I hope uh, you have had the pleasure of summoning me. I like to reset things and also stun things. Um, Hall of Heroes is a great use for me usually, maybe not this time. Uh, talking about this Hall of Heroes in particular, uh, you'll notice as we get to the more difficult levels that uh, a cleanser is prudent. I would suggest Veramos. Uh, most people have access to him and he is great at cleansing. Look at the three turn defense break. Not a problem in this easy level, but as we get more difficult, uh, things will start dying uh, as you'll see uh, soon. <laughs> so. We've got the Lucian twins, Fran. I think Fran is a good choice uh, for this Hall of Heroes for a, uh, several reasons. Um, reason number one being the immunity buff. Uh, she brings the many debuffs in this Hall of Heroes. There's the defense break, as we mentioned. Uh, the AoE attack uh, down. You'll see there's some heal blocks, which you will not like if you want your healing. Um, you know, uh, so Fran, I would say very good. There's several dark units that she can tank effectively. Um, the Dias is not the most threatening one. The Molong lookalike evil girl is the one you want to tank. And once we start failing more, you'll see uh, her tanking that unit. A lot of revive in uh, in this Hall of Heroes. If you had access to something like a Raki. Um, you might do well, or the blue Anubis, we shall not speak its name, because we do not know his name. Another viable unit. I'm very happy to be here with you today. I'm not often featured in uh, YouTube videos and such, so this will be very pleasant for me to uh, experience the YouTube with you all. So there's, uh, there's level 5 clear starting to move into the more difficult levels of the Hall of Heroes. Uh, B6, B5, B7 are where most newer players will start to struggle. You'll notice one of my units has died. That makes me very sad. But it is inevitable and it's worth, you know, a fail or two to find out where your speed clear uh, ends, which for me, I think the journey ends now because, oh my gosh, everything's dying. And there she goes. Goodbye, Ethna. We will miss you. So once the speed clear fails, then you need to start thinking about a more stable clear. So I've put in Varad here. Any Varad substitute will work because there's so many of those. Um, the blue Triana, I do not know its name. Pretty good. It would work okay. Um, twins built tanky for control for TOA. You could bring your TOA team. I would suggest your TOA team. H H team. I'm still a little greedy with the Perna and the best debt, but I'm Okeanos. That is what I do. Um, talking about the, the Hall of Heroes choice in general by Come to Us, the Water Death Knight. Uh, not, not what we were hoping for, but the only upside of such Hall of Heroes is they clear them off the list and maybe give us better options later. I feel like Come to Us is becoming more generous and it becomes harder to criticize them, which is annoying. Um, this one, not a great one, but has uses for newer and perhaps mid-game players who have no access to immunity other than perhaps Chloe. But maybe they did not pull Chloe, I don't know. Um, so the Death Knight is something. It's a cleanse immunity, which is pretty good. Don't see many of those. You know, the, mo the ones you think of, maybe Amalia Velejul, the Nat 5... More, less obtainable uh, units. This one's more obtainable. It is also a good option for skilling up your DS. Um, people are using the DS unit in um, raids. Very nice choice. I like the DS unit. Um, you can skill him up. Save one for sure, regardless. You're always going to want one. Um, 
the family as a whole has some issues. Okay, so we clear B6. That's nice. Let's move on to B7. Get some energy. I'm already paranoid. I'm <laughs> bringing Veramos. These are going to start taking a long time because the attack buff is still here, but the shield is gone and I'm just not dotting or anything. I like the Ethna just for the defense break. Um, I feel like a defense break goes a long way. But anyway, let's talk about the family as a whole. Uh, Arnold, the fire death knight, um, really not very useful anymore. He used to be good um, back when, you know, there's not as many options. And pure damage with double Arnold was a thing. It's quite quite warm in this beard and hat. I apologize. Um, so he doesn't really have a place right now. If he if he got a little buff, he would be much better. Um, you know, a little more damage, something like that. Really anything would help. Briand, the Wind Death Knight, I think has a place for people without revive units. Uh, he's, you know, a pretty good free-to-play revive. He's good in TOA. Um... Not a not a bad unit, so worth worth looking into, especially early, early game. The water one, as we talked about, is the cleanse immunity. Um, you know, it's got the prevent the death effect. You might have some use of it, maybe in a four star tower or something. I don't know. I I don't intend to use mine. I will skill up all these units just because you know what else are you gonna do with free? I'd rather skill up units that I might not use then throw them into legendary pieces uh, to get more units that I might not use, perhaps. And, you know, you never know when they're going to get a buff. So now, you know, with we have the entire family. We're just going to run this team again in B7. Now that we have the entire family, I believe Conrad was an HOH, though I did pull an Awakened one. That was, that was particularly tragic. Um, I want to skill up the entire family, and I've got DS skilled up. I've got a couple skills into Arnold, because... You know, that's where I put my first few double months back four years ago, something like that. They were literally my first two double months. Um, Brian's got enough skill ups to function, but not maxed. And then I've started leveling uh, the Conrad just because he's light and he's a speed lead. And if he catches almost any buff, he's going to be good because a speed lead that's, you know, it's, it's almost hard to make a speed lead that's not usable. Um, so if he can catch any sort of a buff, he might be okay. So maybe they'll do that. Um, you know, DS we've talked about, I think that kind of sums up everything. DS is a nice frontline unit. They buffed Darien past DS, I would say. It's, it's debatable. They bring a little bit of a different kit. Um, but Darien provides more mitigation, 5% more mit mitigation in R5. So my, I prefer Darien um, just for the mitigation and the constant defense break. But DS is still really good. You know, if you're going to need two teams, DS is uh, useful. So I'd recommend him. So that's pretty much it on the on the family. I think the light Death Knight looks super cool. I think the dark one looks cool too. So it would be nice if they would consider making them useful. Though making four stars useful is tricky because as soon as you buff one a little bit, it overtakes a nat five and then everyone freaks out. <laughs> totally freaks out. Like look at the Garrow versus Laika comparison. I mean, I think Garrow is better than Laika in almost every way, which is sad. Because like as an F5 and you know, you want that to be a feature unit on your account. Um, but Garrow got a little bit of a buff and suddenly he's a speed lead with harder to kill, with speed scaling, with crowd control, and Leica is slower, terrible lead, no crowd control, less damage, and dies faster. So yeah. If you buff you know, if you buff Fedora Slightly, he'll overtake some Nat 5 counterpart, you know. So they got to be careful with that. It could be a disaster. Um, talking about the Okeanos helmet a little bit, I think that'll probably be something um, people are interested in. I mean, mine was forged in the fires of Fire Sea Emperor uh, land. Not It doesn't make a ton of sense that I'm from the sea, but I'm fire. But it's okay. Don't worry about it. Um, I'm going to say maybe from like underwater magma magma we die again oh no what a disaster we put in a reviver because they keep killing me and i think that's fine a reviver i would recommend later on maybe briand um as we were saying and uh, maybe the underwater magma creak like creeping out of the earth it makes okeanos something i don't know <laughs> backstory is hard um anyway let me show you what this looks like here 
um, I'm gray in the beard, but I'm very, I dye, I dye my hair up here to appear more youthful for the ladies. Um, but you know, that's how that goes. So, you see it here? It's from the side. The horns are made to look like lava. And then here's the back, it's like a dripping lava thing going on. Yeah. And here's the side again. And you can't really see the gem in the middle because it's so bright, the green screen hates it. But it's all lava, lava style. So the origin of the helmet, if I can put it back on, is, I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm an art teacher, uh, middle school, fifth and sixth. Okeanos, like many people, needs a day job. Um, is it, is it straight? Okay, wait. Yes, that's okay, that's better. Um, <clears throat> or excuse me. I'm a middle school art teacher, and we are doing a project on paper mache helmets. And this is my example. Okeanos' helmet was like so cool, I had to make it. Um, and I've been working on it, you know, showing the kids the, my progress and the different techniques I use so that they can make their own helmets. Uh, also cool. There's been some good ones. The best one so far, I think, might be the Pugacorn. It's a human pug dog with a, a unicorn horn, you know, like a... Imagine someone took a Diana and, like, chopped off its horn, which would make everyone happy, and then attached it to an adorable pug. And that, that's, that was the nature of the helmet. Um, very, very nice. Apparently, a lot of people like to make helmets that have to do with the video game. I don't know. There's lots of dances associated with it. It's a thing. But it's been really fun. So it just doesn't quite look straight, but that's okay. Um, my plan is to uh, maybe visit Okeanos, maybe visit the meetup in, you know, Earth, uh, Texas, Houston, that has come to us as next event after Earth Brazil meetup. Um, you know, I'd like to I'd like to show up and see people with my helmet and my beard and my sweet Okeano skills. I think this is B9, I'm not sure. Um, so maybe I'll do that. Um, maybe other people, humans, and, you know, summoned awesome monsters alike will make the journey to Earth, Houston, Texas, um, meet up. Hopefully it's like not a ticket thing. I hope I can get a ticket, <laughs> but we will see. Oh, that's B9, okay, cool. We get to talk for one more B, B10. That will be our final B. I'm pretty sure I cleared this in one shot, so you know, OP. Really, I should have I should have appeared myself in this uh, Hall of Heroes, but I have more interesting things to do, like not reset Hathor in in uh, RTA, um, you know, fail to stun people, get bombed, try to throw it back, fail. Sometimes I do it, but mostly I like to keep the bombs for myself. They're pretty cool. Um, so that yeah, that's my plans, my my current plans. I guess I could repaint this to be a different emperor, but I'm trying to think which one would be... I mean, I don't know that there's a better one. The blue one? Poseidon? Triton? No. Yellow, I don't think, would look good. The lava, fire, dark, that's that's the ticket, you know. That's how people like to look in um, fire, sea emperors as well. Have you seen those lightning emperors? What are they kidding? Those are no emperors of mine. Best emperors are from the sea. Not lightning ridiculous they don't even have good beards pretty sad and they just take people's things you know like oh i take your i take your immunity and then i get knowledge they don't look that smart to me for all the knowledge they gain the best way to deal with being people and monsters is to reset them reset them boom boom reset not take their things slowly heal yourself pathetic and then the fire one bailey girl what a disaster that is, huh? He's supposed to be the the good one that people get, and he does nothing. He just destroys a little bit. So sad. Oh well, we cannot all be sea emperors of fire. We are the best. Nat 5. This is really fun being Okeanos. Uh, you probably enjoy being your own human self as well. But being Okeanos, I highly recommend it if you have the op opportunity. Um, really, what I need is like a trident. Trident, um, but I do not have one. I only have a helmet. I don't. I don't even have shoulder pads yet. That's very sad. But I think I could probably manage a cape, even though capes are generally ill-advised. I like. Uh, I like that I gain attack bar when I stun people, but I don't like immunity. I wish. Um, 
immunity was not such an issue. Maybe, maybe I need like a Gianna to help me with that issue. Notice here in this level, um, the dark evil sylph creature thing, it targets my friend, which is great. Um, because my friend is pretty tanky. And then if it were to kill the friend, uh, the Eladriel will be there to help. If you do not have an Eladriel, I would recommend perhaps a Briand. Platy. Oh my gosh, we're almost done. I better slow it down. Or maybe even like a Triana to prevent the death. Something like that. I don't know. You need something like that. But yes, for this Hall of Heroes, immunity, cleanse, CC, normal. It's a very normal, normal Hall of Heroes. Um, not too, not too much DPS, not too threatening. The one level where they try to murder you in one shot, that's the only real problem. Um, and then if you catch the defense break from the Annabelle, that's the other problem. Those two problems. Two only problems, yes. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed my presence here and my escorting you through the Hall of Heroes. That is Bs 1 through Bs 10, um, all complete on auto. Only two fails, so you know, that's how we roll. Until next time, take care. Okeanos out.